morning and welcome back to our channel. Today um, is a different day. Joe is driving as usual. He is my professional driver. <laughs> I wouldn't say professional, but... <laughs> driver for life and I am the passenger for life. But yeah, today um, we are going to Dumaguete City. Uh, we're gonna do a bit of some errands and we decided to show you around. If you're planning to visit Dumaguete soon or you plan to live here, especially if uh, you're a foreigner, then this video is really for you because we will be showcasing some areas in the city and we will also be showing you the prices of fruits, vegetables. So it's going to 12 and Joe and I haven't had our breakfast yet so we decided to have brunch first. Um, we're going to this very simple eatery. Um, it's actually my father's favorite eatery and I used to eat there when I was still a kid. They have the best crackling pork and yeah it's just simple Filipino home-cooked meals and at the same time we'll show you how our market here in Dumaguete looks like. So yeah stay tuned and we will see you at the eatery. We just parked our vehicle here. Um, actually Dumaguete already has this parking building. It's called Pavilion. It's pay parking. Yeah, paid parking and it's in the center of the city. Yeah. But what we used to do is just park on the corner street. of the streets. But you can actually still see that now, which we will show you later. There's just a lot of cars here yeah. right now that there's not enough parking areas. The city is too small the for the yeah. quantity of vehicles we have. Let us show you guys. Look at the outside. This, so this is downtown Dumaguete. Alright guys, so this is the center city or what we call here downtown. So there's Small Robinsons, Unitop from the distance. This is Lee Super Plaza. It's a busy street here. What's saying? Oh, you can pass there. Okay. So there's a lot of uh, what we call parking boys here as well in the city. These are folks who will assist you with parking and you can give them 5, 10 pesos, 20 pesos, depending on you. Um, but yeah, it was very controversial at first, right? Yeah. But I actually think that it's okay. You can help them out because they're actually making an honest living. They watch over your vehicle too. Yeah, and it's better than stealing, guys. Yeah. It lowers the crime rate and all. So, so yeah. We're nearby the eatery and I'm so hungry. Yeah, we're, I can smell the food. <laughs> so here we go, guys. Did you get the karahai? The fish kinilaw, some vegetables. This one's a palaya. We're getting that one, karahai. Use goat. Lumpia. Uh, you ordered two of them, right? Yeah. Naka -order na Naka -order na Merg, naka -order na Here's goat, guys. Caldereta. There's our order, guys. We Filipinos usually use condiments with our meals. So, if you love spicy, you can add in chili. And then some soy sauce. Like that. Now, usually we mix calamansi, soy sauce, and vinegar, but I feel like this one has already a mixture of vinegar as well, so that's good. Alright, there we go. I'm so hungry. Huh? I'm so hungry. So we got calamansi juice as well. And for Van. So how much did we pay for all of this? 360 pesos. 360 pesos. Yeah. So how much is that in dollars? Around like uh, 
seven dollars seven to eight yeah less than ten dollars for all of this guys so here you get a good goat crackling stew pork. yeah crackling pork goat, goat stew goat powder chop suey free soup yeah beef soup that's free and nice. two rice let's dig in <laughs> Of course, we gotta dip it on the ketchup. Mm. <laughs> now I'm gonna try um, the goat stew or the goat caldereta. Oh yeah, that is really good. A bit of funky flavor from the goat. Yeah. It's definitely one of the best uh, Filipino dishes we have, right? We will dip it in uh, soy sauce. The French way. Mm. <laughs> Free soup, which is boiling up on the rice. Make it wet. Soy sauce on the rice. Grab a piece of meat. Don't forget the ketchup. I love ketchup. If you don't like ketchup, you can skip this part. Perfect. So guys, it's 12 o'clock right now and look how packed the place is. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hey guys, Joe ate a lot. <laughs> how are you feeling, sir? I didn't. Yes, you did. We had three rice. We had all of those. It's, uh, best custom, guys. To always, to always arrange. To make it easier for them to clean up the place. Yeah. Maybe get some tissue and also clean up the table. Uh, yeah. Alright, guys. So that was lunch. How was oh, lunch? God, I'm so full. Yeah? So guys, if you are here in Dumaguete and you're hungry and you're on a budget, <laughs> yeah, check out so Pani's. Go ahead and check out Pani's. It's the OG. My dad loves it. I love it. Joe loves it. The world loves it. The world. Well, the world loves the it. The world has not discovered it yet, but it's about time. They will. If you really want to have a true feel of Filipino food, home cooked food. Yeah, home cooked food. You go to an E3. E3 is the way to go. Yeah. Thank you. By the way, guys, once you cross here in Dumaguete, there is no traffic lights. So yeah. just cross at your own risk. Make sure it's a just pedestrian. Like Vietnam, right? Yeah, Most just of the like Hanoi. In Vietnam, so it's kind of like similar. But there's uh, stoplights in Hanoi. Here, there's zero stoplights. So when you're there driving, were? yeah. I don't remember. Here, when you're driving, there is no stoplight anywhere. So it's 12.53 and you can see everyone's just so chill here. It is hot and I am sweating. 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 I have a game for you. Yeah. I have a question actually. Yeah. What's what's stickier? <laughs> <laughs> Glue? Tape okay. or booger? <laughs> Question is, how many boogers? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Blue tape or booger? booger. Yeah. Stickier on what? Or just on like on your fingers. Oh, booger. <laughs> How'd you know? Yeah. No, I'm serious. So I'm a, well, we can do a test while waiting. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> what? Without, without I the actual you, booger. I thought you wanted me to pick my nose here. No, 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 no. So I glue. just stick out your hands for, for them. Show them uh, both your. Ah, this is a trick. <laughs> no, no, no. You're it's not a trick. Me. No. If uh, you trick me, if this I'm, is a trick, you owe me a coffee. Yeah, I owe everyone here coffee if I put booger on her hands. That's just first of all, that's disgusting. That's dangerous. Here, I'll hold this. Oh, I'll hold it. No, you need both hands. Okay. You need both hands. Okay, but Show them your hands, yep. 
Now put them together. Ah, <laughs> I know this trick. It's the one like yeah. the finger thing. But you have to... Ah, then stop. you're gonna tell me. Like, yeah, <laughs> look. Like for I people who don't know, yeah, you have to cross these ones. Like no. that. <laughs> like this. Like this, together. Like that? Yeah. There. Okay. Very good. There we go. Yep. So as you can see guys, all right now we're gonna try the sticky test. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put glue here, over here on the thumb. So we're putting glue, right? Let it set. <laughs> now I'm gonna tape this around. So this one has tape now. This one, I'll put some booger. Not okay. literally, but just imagine there's booger here. There we go. And a the good, pinky. A good sticky burger. Um, sealant. No. Okay. Yeah, we'll put sealant here. Okay, there we go. Let's try the sealant first. Is I it? already know it's sticky. Let's try the sealant. Like, like, let go. Okay, it's not that sticky. Let's try glue on the thumb. Not that sticky. Let's try tape. Oh, let's, no, let's try booger. And your teeth. So, which one's more sticky? You're a booger. My You're booger. a booger. <laughs> See, I was correct. So, you owe me coffee. How do I owe you coffee? I didn't fool you. Mm -hmm. I was serious. No. And we proved that booger I is indeed that if I stickier. win, you owe me coffee. Yes, I did. You, you can didn't rewind. win. You can replay that. She didn't win, guys. Yeah. It's a trick. You owe me a coffee. <laughs> No. <sighs> Mission accomplished. Now it's time to go to the the, the supermarket. The, the, yeah, the French said it right. The supermarket. <laughs> Gotta get those oat milk and eggs and all the stuff that we need. Do you need something? Crayons. Crayons. Yeah. You're gonna color my world. Yeah, I'm gonna color your world. I don't color you. Yeah, shops are starting to open. Yep. Yeah, as we said earlier, there's actually cars just parked on the side of the road here. Unless there's a no parking sign, guys, then you won't see any cars. This is our main transportation here, by the way, guys. That's called a tricycle. Vehicle. We're selling fish there. We are on our way to the supermarket. So we're done with our shopping, fortunately. Yeah. So this particular supermarket here called Le Plaza, they do not allow taking videos inside, which we totally respect. We weren't able to show you guys inside, but yeah, well, look. Joe gets to carry them all. We have rice. You can see there, guys, that's the boulevard right up ahead. And this is the big parking area here. So they have an elevator, but we prefer the, using the stairs. We sometimes like to make our lives harder. Come on, follow me. I mean, Joe is gonna pass As usual. No, it's teamwork. Yeah. I do the lifting, you do the talking. I hold the camera now. Oh, that's a nice lighting, Babo. That's a great angle for you to. Oh, something's itchy on my nose. We're gonna walk to the market. It's around five minute walk. Yeah? He's hungry again. That's why he's like that. He needs attention. I'm not giving him the attention. And he's messing up my hair. 
this is what happens when French people don't <laughs> don't get their poisson. Oh, dude, this just destroyed my hair. Oh, sorry. You still look nice, though. You look like a Vogue, yeah, Vogue model. Um, yeah, by the way, guys, it's free parking here if you do some groceries at Lee Plaza or Robinson's. So that's very convenient. But now it is off to the market. Hello, my apple. So that says, Palihog dili mangluwa sa salog. Please do not spit on the floor. So guys, if ever you come here, please avoid spitting. Don't you dare spit. I'm looking at you. Don't you dare spit. My knee hurts. Ow. That's funny. <laughs> you have noticed people are not in a hurry. Just driving at a very relaxing pace. No one's in a rush. People just walk by the streets. If you need to cross the road, don't be afraid. So yeah. Yeah, we'll show you an example, guys. So again, no traffic lights. Just look left and right. And then once it's clear, cross the road. Here's the park. It is scorching hot, guys. Where's where snow when you need it? There's a bunch of um, folks there playing chess as well. Yeah, so. I mean, the park here is not that big. And but it is beautiful. It's spacious. Beautiful, but Look at that. Yeah, very peaceful. A lot of are those pigeons. Yeah, Dogs. there's pigeons here. Um, old trees everywhere. And just right in front is the beautiful cathedral church, which we will show you. Now the market is just behind the church. Right? Yeah. And also conveniently on the other side is also a private hospital, Holy yeah. Child. So Dumaguete is a very small city wherein everything is clustered in beside yeah. each other. Hospitals, um, restaurants, malls, malls banks. banks. So you can yeah. just literally walk around the city yeah. if you want. <laughs> That's the cathedral church. Again, keep an eye. Thank you. There's the church, guys. And here they do a reflex buzzing. Bro! So here you go, guys. The beautiful bell tower of Dumaguete. This is definitely one of the highlights when you visit here. And it is situated just in the center city here. That one is the one of the most famous gym here in Dumaguete. That's the park right there. And you can see this kid with his toy. That's called the Lato Lato. Kabalo ka mo Lato Lato? Sige daw. Sample. Ah, he's shy. Here you go guys, the fruit market here in Dumaguete. See a different array of tropical fruits for sale. Hello. Mayapon. Some tons of bananas, your favorite fruit. Mayapon. There's peanuts here. Hello. Everyone's so friendly here, guys. Hello. 
So these are where they store their fish when they get it delivered here. There's actually a ton of dried fish here. Can I have a saying? 113, you know? Ang inyong sibuyas pila? 160. So their garlic here is 130 guys per kilo. And for onion, it's 160. 28. 28. 28. How much is the kilo? 150. Kuya here has very fresh vegetables. 70. Thank you. <laughs> It's See, it's safe in Dumaguete, you know? Yeah. Yes, hello. They said, yeah, hello. Hi. Oh, taga Dini Rami. Dini Ramo? Hi, hello. It's safe in the Philippines. Mga viewer, mga foreigners. So, why? Yeah, nga nung... Nga nung kailangan sila nung bumisita sa Dumaguete. Nung say naasa Pinas or Duma. Oh, it's nice in the Philippines. Especially in Dumaguete. It's a peaceful city. Tigros Oriental is a peaceful province. Yes, thank yeah. you. So many tourists here in the public market are coming to visit us because people are in Dumaguete City are very friendly. What's your name? Rose. Rose, thank you, Rose. And Maripas. Maripas. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, thank Again. you. Thank Welcome. You. Nice thank to you. see you around. Nice See you. Come on, I upload Ogma the Goy video. Oh, can you video? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, see, guys, people are so friendly here. They love to converse. And yeah, here comes the meat and fish section. Different array of prawns. Kilang kilo sa dagko na niyo mga pasan? 800, okay. That's so, crab, right? Yeah, those are crabs, and for those big prawns, it's 800 per kilo. Here's our uh, Philippine, our national fish, guys. Bangus, or the milk fish. Hello. Ooh, look at, look at these mahi mahis. These are my favorite fish of all time, guys. Mahi mahis, or what we call here dorado. And they're not that expensive. As you can see, it's 240 per kilo. Kaning lato ako ate. Doa kabaso. So here's sea grapes, guys. Mas lawayo ni siya, no? Oh, can I have it? It's okay. It's okay. So guys, that was our mini tour here in the market. We didn't buy much actually. I mean, we didn't really need much. But we just wanted to also show you guys how the market here looks like. Um, there's a fish dealer truck here. Just arrived. Yep, so last stop is the fruit market. Got some bananas, maybe some avocado if they have good ones. Yeah, we can. That actually sounds like a good idea. It's so hot right now. It's 25 pesos per coconut, guys. You can just stop here. Reynan, Kuya Reynan, look how the expert opens that. Yep. Thank you. There we go. There we go, guys. Sweating, like my face so is so refreshing cold. after a hot day so walking humid. outside. 
That's all you admit. Yep. For 25 pesos, guys. Oh, yeah. Cheers. 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 <laughs> There's Kuyarina and his friends in the background. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. Salamat. Let me just take the straw here. Give this. Thank you. Okay, salamat. All right, guys. Now for the oh, oh, banana. we got so distracted we forgot about the banana. So the banana is ninety per kilo here. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat. Salamat. Thank you. We are by the boulevard at the moment, guys. Here we go. The beautiful Dumagate Boulevard and uh, one Sans Rival, guys. Very popular around the Philippines. And this is their main restaurant. Very beautiful. So here's Why Not Resto Bar, guys. Just right in front of the boulevard. And uh, that restaurant is actually where expats love to eat, right? Yeah, eat, drink beer, yeah. coffee, That's out. That's because they serve delicious European food. Um, it's the best, or if not one of the best, yeah. right, restaurants Our here. Our favorite restaurants. Yeah, here in Dumaguete. A bit pricey, but it's worth it. So, yeah. the servings are quite, the portions are quite big. Yep. So, here we go, guys. Boulevard, we're heading there. But right now, Van is actually on the way to get her. Joe Water. asked me a while ago, I told Joe that you need to get a drink first and he was like, where? I was like, what kind of question is that? Well, there's a lot of coffee shops here. <laughs> what kind of question is there's that? There's a lot of coffee shops Sir, here. Sir, we need to talk. We need to talk. Serious, are you getting your kombucha again? Yes, my um, kombucha. I won't try coffee for now. So you There's a, another French expat. Okay guys, so now time to explore the boulevard. Van has her coffee, coffee and um, I got my uh, kombucha here. So yeah, this is the boulevard guys. So this extends all the way to there to the port and this is actually the best area of the boulevard where people mostly just sit and relax. Beautiful, beautiful view. Right there is Sikihor and that island right over there is Cebu. You can see this dude is just so chill on the bench. So, by the boulevard, coffee. kombucha and Vans coffee. Mm. I got regular milk because they didn't have oat milk, unfortunately. Sad life. Sad life. So, Joe and his baby kombucha. <laughs> hey, this is healthy. Look, it says organic. Coffee is healthy too. From Australia. Coffee is healthy too. Yeah, it is. Co I never said it wasn't healthy. <laughs> Guys, so this is Kuya Jerry here. Berinya. Berinya. And he will serenade you whenever you're here in the boulevard. Thank you, Kuya Jerry. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Pwede ko mawas so yung question, Kuya Jerry? Ah. Uh, Unsa na kadugay na inani, Jerry? Nag-start ko 1996. 1996, Jerry, uh, nakasabulivar? Dito po ko sa Picas. 
Anong diyan sa may dumagit mi pa sa una. Ah, so uh, dito sa Tumoy, uh, right? Purhan. Ah, oh, okay. 1996 mag bata pa ka. Oo. Oh, oh. Wow, dugay na jud day kayo. Uh, wow, amazing. Very good. If na kay kuan, wish ba nimo or mga ingana? Ang akong wish bisag mag-ulan o mag mag-init. Mga tao di mawala tungod sa I love the magit me of sa pantawan to. Oo. Oh, oh. So, Fun they're going to talk. Thank you. Thank you, Kayo, yeah. Kuya Jerry. Huh? Thank you. So, that was Kuya Jerry, guys. Um, we do notice him yeah. all the time whenever we're here in the boulevard. One of these days. It would be nice to help him out with the guitar, too, right? Give him your guitar. <laughs> oh, but that's very sentimental, my guitar. But maybe one of these days we can work something out and then surprise him with the guitar. Because... Yeah, he's one of the familiar faces here in Dumaguete and he's making an honest living. He's showcasing his talent. Over here, guys, you can see there's a boat. Sunken ship. Yeah, there, there's a boat there. That's actually Victoria, one of Magellan's ship that passed by Dumaguete. Uh, they never stopped by here, though. So, guys, that's Cebu Island. The small one there is Sumilon. And right from the distance there, it's kind of faded, but that's Panglao. So heading there is Bohol and right here is the beautiful island of Sikihor and over the horizon right over there is Mindanao. You can actually see some kids here swimming by the boulevard. Hello. Hello. <laughs> but yeah guys, that concludes our Dumaguete city tour-ish slash errand day slash daily life of Vanessa and I here in Dumaguete we hope you enjoyed we hope you, we showcased enough for you guys especially to the people who are planning yeah. to visit here soon or retire here and I think we also gave like a glimpse of how Dumaguetenos are here as yeah. you can see uh, we have met a few people and they were very friendly very and friendly. they really love the camera. All right, by the way, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Your support matters to us a lot. It will help our channel grow. So thank you to everyone. And we will see you on our next vlog. Peace.